Naya and Zoe are back in the garage, ready to take on a new cosplay building challenge. As usual, they will design and build their props all on their own, but this time they get a shopping trip to buy the special materials they need for detailing. Time to get creative in Gridlock's garage. <laughs> Naya and Zoe, welcome back to the garage. Today we are going further into the realm of fantasy and you will each be making your own magical staff. You will be designing and building your projects separately so that you can't see what each other are doing until the very end. Zoe, you will be starting first. I have no idea what I'm going to do or how I'm going to accomplish it. I like the design of where the power crystal is kind of floating away from the staff and not embedded into it. I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to need to find a crystal to put into this. I have a much better idea of what I'm going to do now. I want an organic step, something that looks really natural, but then overgrown at the same time. Now we are headed to the dollar store to pick up some specialty materials that the girls will need for their staffs. We are at Dollarama now and you each have a budget of $15 for materials you need for your staff. Go! I'm looking for some, a gem for my staff and also some plasticine for the branches. I need a gem for the center right here, and I also need some smaller gems for these tiny bits here. With these, I might be able to glue some together to build the crystal I want. Actually, I already have some coat hanger in the garage that you can use. some interesting looking materials. Let's see what they do with them. I'm drilling holes for the wire that I can wrap 
uh, modeling clay around to make it look like branches. using tape to wrap the wires so that they stay in place and stop jiggling around. Just covering up the tape and some of the pipe. I'm going to use the green, blue, and white sea glass to build a big crystal. It feels like I'm putting the crystal back together like a puzzle. I'm adding a nail to the bottom so it'll stick into the pipe. I finish the crystal. I'm cutting the pipe in half and then cutting one of those halves into quarters. I'm almost through. Separate each one and then I'm going to bend them into the shape that I'm imagining. Heat and bend, heat and bend. I love how the top turned out. Now I need to heat the length of the staff. I need to put some twists and turns into it. That took longer than I expected. entirely in brown paint because I want it to look entirely like wood.
while the paint is drying, I'm going to add a little more onto the crystal so that it fills the area in the stack for it. I'm adding a darker brown on top to give it wood grain. I just noticed that this paint is too light. I'm fading from green to brown to red. These magical orbs got embedded in the branches a long time ago, and then now moss is starting to grow around them. Zoe and Naya have finished all of their detailing work, and now it is time for them to reveal their props to each other to see what reactions they get. Three, two, one, turn. Whoa! <laughs> it looks like a mossy anglerfish coming to draw you in so she can magic you. how the branches swirl around the crystal as if to focus the energy to make a really powerful spell. Which one do you like best? Tell Naya and Zoe yourself by leaving a comment. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss another episode. And thanks for watching Gridlock's Garage.